once again, I want to thank everybody so much for coming. I got a few people that I want to recognize in the room. We've got the um, council president over here for North Royal. We got Mr. Craig Mar Marvin. Candidate. Yeah. Yeah. Can well, candidate, but you know, I, I call it ahead of time. All right, Craig Marvin over here. We got our award uh, for councilman back here, Mr. Scott Maloney. Just taking a seat back down here is our newest county councilman, uh, Mr. Mike Gallagher. Well, you can't do any of this, I've said this before, without a, without a great team in place. And, and I have the best team by far in place. And I'm just gonna start on this side of the room. I got Mr. Ed Olivares over here. I got Mrs. Joanne Olivares sitting over here. John Motley over here. Ryan Kiplinger's our treasurer. You met him when you came in out front. You saw a young lady up there also, Miss Stephanie. Stephanie is, uh, we were very blessed to pick her up. Uh, she is a BW uh, poli sci major. She has, she has jumped on and joined the team. So we want to thank her for all that, all the great help that she's been giving us. Uh, well, economic development is, is the key to any city's success. Uh, but we want to go one step beyond um, economic development. What that really is, it's, it's jobs. And it's jobs at the federal level, it's jobs at the state level, and it's also jobs at the Strongsville level. Um, a great, a great uh, one right here, a great example, is right here with, with Olympia Candies. Uh, Mr. Bob McGrath is a open this place up for us. A little warm back here, but he's worked open this place up for us. Now Bob is a small business owner. Small business owners like Bob are, are, are what's going to be to get our economy back on track. Um, you know, Bob has expanded this operation. Um, he's actually shipping all over the country now uh, with his candies and foods and, and caramel corn. He's got the best ice cream in the entire state of Ohio, right here, right here in Strongsville, Ohio, and uh, but this is a great, uh, great one. As, as Bob has now expanded and become a restaurant, uh, with that restaurant, he has added in uh, new people and new jobs. So, keep in mind though that that government does not, for the most part, create jobs. What government does, it makes it easier for for businesses to be in business. Uh, it would be my intention as councilman to make it easier for those businesses and keep the doors open and fast track that process. Job creation helps our cities prosper and delivers better city services. Um, our mayor is not here today, but, but I want to make sure that we thank him and the other city leaders and the great job that they have done. Uh, Strongsville is one of 13 cities in the state of Ohio that have a triple A bond rating. Um, and also an unemployment level, which is more than 2% below the rest of the state and the rest of the national government. So I think that's, that's something he said great about it. And even though he's not here, let's give, uh, let's give the mayor an applause for that one. I would like to form an advisory group of business leaders to provide professional expertise to our schools. We owe it to our residents, our businesses, and to our children to deliver the best education our schools can offer. We have to do this and not go back to the taxpayers every four years looking for more money. A great school system helps not only our children, but helps keep your property values up and helps keep businesses that want to relocate to our city. This can be our blueprint for great schools. It's my opinion that our businesses would invest more time and resources if they had a a part in what they were investing in. And I kind of want to end this by saying it will be my goal every day as councilman to make sure you're getting the most for your tax value. In, in fact, I want to make sure that you are giving me a daily job performance review. And, uh, and with that, I'll kind of close up now. Um, uh, Saturday, we've got an event coming up. We're going to do one of our Super Saturdays.
we're going to meet here at uh, 9 a.m. for breakfast. Uh, Bob's going to open the place up for us for breakfast. Then we're going to go out and get some doors for between uh, 10 and 12 o'clock. So if you can join us, um, as you heard uh, both uh, Rob and Seth say, you know, we need, we need your help. If you can walk on and knock some doors with us, if you can make some phone calls, um, in, any of those things help, help us out tremendously. Today is a tremendous help, and I want to thank each and every one of you so very much. Um, I did get a little um, notice that the mayor had entered the room, but I don't see him yet. So in case he, he wanted to say anything, he could. I don't want to stop him, but I don't see him yet. So I'll keep, uh, I'll keep babbling here for a few minutes. Um, but I really did want to thank, I, I had met Seth at a, uh, at a uh, YR state event, it was a state dinner, and I met him there and got a ch chance and opportunity to talk to him a little bit and get to know him. And he said to me, he said, if you ever need anything, he said, you just let me know. And so I announced to him that we were going to have this fundraiser, and, and it just worked out very well for us, and he was already going to have to appear in Chesterland. So he said, absolutely, I'll, I'll stop by. And he said, well, I have time to speak and say a few things. And I said, absolutely, you will. So, uh, but once again, thanks, everybody, so much for coming. And there's uh, plenty of food out here, I know. I think, uh, what else we got coming out? We got ice cream and ice cream. anything else? Ice cream, pop, got water over here, so that's it. Thanks so very much.